I'm Alex Cumberland, Agency Partner Manager at Oncord Software. I'm here to give you an overview of our platform as a developer and a crash course on how to create your first website. Oncord consists of four key feature groups, website management, a customer database, marketing tools, and an e-commerce engine. The website component allows you to manage the content of your website and pages. You can post blog articles and view analytics. When users complete their details on forms throughout the website, they will be added to a central customer database. You can also import customers via a CSV or Excel spreadsheet, and we offer a number of integrations with other software providers. The marketing component allows you to send SMS or email marketing campaigns to your contacts. You can also post to social media pages, set up automated workflows or drip campaigns, and take events RSVP via the website. Lastly, the commerce component enables you to sell products, memberships, donations, or events online. Invoices are generated by the system and can sync with popular accounting solutions such as MYOB, Xero, and QuickBooks Online. You can also run discounts to contacts based on prior interactions or any other conditions. We offer integrations with PayPal, Stripe, SecurePay, eWay, and are always building out new payment and shipping integrations. An add-on is also available to charge users on a recurring basis. Oncord features a library of user interface controls, which act as an extension of standard HTML for elements like galleries, forms, FAQs, and responsive rows and columns. UI controls can be dragged into place via our page editor. You'll notice a source button when editing designs, pages, products, and posts, which allows developers to manipulate source code directly. You can also access or manipulate contacts, pages, products, or any other data stored within Oncord by using our PHP API. With full control over PHP, you'll be able to further extend Oncord to suit your unique requirements. When you need to show a list of items on the site from a database, like blog articles, projects, or houses, Posts offers a good approach to allowing non-technical users to easily update the site and manage content themselves. You can also set up custom fields on any component of Oncord, such as pages, posts, or contacts. As an example, you might add price as a custom field to posts, allowing houses to display a price when listed on the website. After creating an account, the first task is to set up a website design. There are two approaches available, depending on your web development experience. You can quickly generate a website design theme based on an existing website or an uploaded logo, or alternatively, you can custom code a design from scratch using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and our library of user interface controls. We'll look at generating a design first. Enter your domain name and Oncord will inspect your current website. A series of design themes will be generated based on your logo, along with some templated pages to help you get started. Select a design theme that suits, and then proceed. You can then navigate to Pages and start updating the templated pages with your own content. By clicking the Insert button, you'll find a library of pre-built page sections and elements that you can drag and drop into position on the page. The drag and drop sections and designs generated by the system are all mobile friendly. You can upload images from your computer or browse on Splash for stock images instead. You can set up pages as secure areas by clicking the settings button, adding rules about which contacts are able to view the page, such as specifying that a contact must be placed into a certain group in order to access this page. As another approach, if you're a developer, you may wish to custom code a design yourself. When editing pages and designs, you can click the source button in order to view source code. We also have a library of developer tutorials and documentation available on our website. To get started creating a custom design, go to designs and then create a new blank design. Here you can copy and paste the HTML source of your new design. You'll swap some tags out for our custom user interface controls instead, such as the navigation menu. You'll nominate where the editable area of the document will be, so that admins can update page content themselves. 
you'll update web forms so that fields correlate with the contact database properly and to take advantage of our anti-spam security measures. There is a central media folder for each Encore account. When the editor is open, you'll traverse into a relevant media folder to upload images or external JS or CSS files. You can upload multiple files at once or upload a zip folder and unzip on the server, retaining the folder structure used within the zip document. After uploading your media, you'll update all the links and can use our find and replace tools if necessary. If you need to migrate an existing blog based on WordPress or Adobe Business Catalyst, go to Posts and follow the steps to copy posts and article pages. If the website is selling products online, navigate to the Commerce section of the dashboard to start populating a product catalogue and to configure shipping and payment methods. When editing a product, you'll find plenty of configuration options to help suit your requirements, such as ordering options, product galleries, and restricted visibility. An import wizard is also available for developers to set up a list of products based on a CSV upload. Once you're happy with your new website, enter your billing details and then use our GoLive wizard to configure email hosting and make the website live. Agency partners access all their client websites via a central portal where they can control billing, create new accounts and manage administrators. Oncord offers a commission structure based on your number of active client websites. To encourage you to use Oncord in your own business, when you reach three paid client accounts, you're entitled to a free, fully featured Oncord account for your own website. To help assist you to get your first few clients set up with Oncord, our team can offer migration services from other platforms. So after watching this video, I'd recommend creating a trial account and setting up a design theme and some example pages on a site. Have a look at the developer site at the API documentation and our tutorials on things like website navigation and form development as well. We're a very approachable team. So if we can help you get started or be successful on our platform, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd love to help. Thanks heaps for watching. I'll talk to you soon.